Greetings, it is I, Way Out Dan, and I am still at the park doodling animals and plants and microbes. And today, I'm going to show you how to draw a backhoe balloon monster that builds trap nests. That's right, it builds trap nests. All right, so this time, even as I was just preparing to start the video, I had an idea. You know how I always start with a single random line? What if I mixed it up and did something crazy? I made two random lines. And so we'll just do this, and we'll just do this. What does that look like? Or what does each part look like, separately? I don't know. This one looks kind of like a puddle. And, and this one looks kind of like a, a bush. But of course, that's boring. So... Well, this could be kind of like a hole in the ground full of teeth. And that should maybe give some people some ideas. Might be more of a fantasy creature than a science fiction creature, but eh, we might be able to make it work. It's almost like a sarlacc pit, but of course it's different. <clears throat> Ooh, maybe it's a nest. Maybe those aren't teeth. Maybe those are shell material secreted by the actual animal that built the nest. And it kind of protects the uh, eggs, hmm. Or it keeps keeps live prey trapped in there that it can then feed to its babies or puts the babies in there. Or maybe it works like an antlion. Maybe a, an antlion type creature like set this whole thing up. Things walk along, fall in, they get eaten. But they're also trapped there, because sometimes it takes time to eat them. And that could be for a whole lot of different reasons. It could be that the animal is actually a bloodsucker and can barely stay attached, and it takes a long time. And then, so if this is the, the nest, the animal would normally be inside, but maybe, well, this could be prey, or this could be the animal, but it's out, maybe it's still building the thing. Maybe it does leave sometimes. Maybe it's a trap. Maybe it makes dozens or hundreds of these and leaves them as traps. It's a trap hunter. There we go, now that's interesting. I haven't heard of animals that use traps that leave all over the place. Of course, spiders have a single trap that they like stay in, but humans go leave like rabbit traps all over the place and come back to them. Maybe that's what this does. <clears throat> so it needs to move. It needs some sort of legs. And even as I said that, I'm already thinking of a million other ways it can move. You know, it could be a balloon. But you still need a way of having locomotion, jets or something. And what I immediately thought of was a balloon with very thin legs, not enough to support it but enough to push it along the ground. Of course, it doesn't really fit with this shape. Unless, unless, this is the balloon part, and this is the main body of the animal, and it's got some very thin legs that it uses you know, they could be almost like tube feet or something. Might work in a similar way. You know, I'll make them, give them an extra toe. Why not? Huh. You know, we'll do it like this. Yeah. 
and I might have some on the other side that you can just barely see from this side. Now this is not a very good pen, it bleeds. I like to use pens with a very fine tip usually. Well, at least when I get around to doing it professionally. This is just the idea phase. <clears throat> now how this animal would have built this kind of thing, I have no idea. It needs some sort of manipulators. Like arms with complicated fingers. Not really sure what that would look like. Certainly needs something to dig, at the very least. Maybe those little legs can do the other work. So, we'll make it almost like a backhoe. Right? Because, why not? You can do anything you want when you're God. Making up life. Eh, I'm going to give this some texture, some structure here. Make it a little more interesting. Uh, also, I might make this shiny. I'm say that's the reflection of the sun. Boy, I didn't do a very good job of that. But <laughs> This part will be slightly fuzzy, maybe velvety. You can imagine it's, well, more like a carpet. Different species could be different, but this one's got this sort of texture. Uh, I didn't give it any sensory organs. Eyes are so passe, they, they're on everything. But, uh, hmm. Keep the video short, I'll just give it an eye. And it's probably got another one on the other side. And you know what, it probably needs some eyes closer to this contraption, so we'll say it has four eyes. <sighs> trying to think, what else does this thing need? Well, nothing for now. I mean, eventually we'll make it more of a, a full animal when I figure out which ecosystem it belongs to. Then I can figure out its skeletal structure, its biochemistry. But this is just the uh, creative phase, the doodling. So, this is done, and if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and thank you for watching. Hey, one more thing I thought of to add. This thing is going to have a very hard time digging the hole, because when it pulls the stuff out, it's just going to pull the whole body down. These legs don't support it. So I thought after ending the video and staring at it a while, just give it another arm on this side to grab onto things. Because why not? <laughs>